so this study sort of merged together two relatively separate areas of research that we've been interested in in my lab. The idea of taking more sustainable chemical resources and turning them into plastics. The other area of research is discovering new types of ways to leverage thermodynamics to make monomers into polymers that were classically more stubborn to turn into polymers. Our initial goal for this was really to just investigate if we could make a plastic from pine sap in the very beginning. We saw the structure of one of the major components of pine sap, that alpha pining. And we saw that the structure had similar features to other monomers that are commonly polymerized, so commonly turned into plastics. And so what we were able to do was do a somewhat simple chemical modification to the alpha pinene structure to turn it into a, a molecule that surprisingly turned into a plastic very wonderfully. There's a, a major push to kind of move away from petroleum derived plastics. So we, we have a plastics problem and we have a petroleum problem. And the thing is, is that plastics come from petroleum, almost all of them. Obviously, petroleum is a finite resource. Eventually, we're going to run out of it. There's obvious environmental concerns. There's a, a large need to move away from that. But obviously, we need to find what actually comes next. Our thinking is a chemical that is non-competitive for foodstuffs and a chemical that can actually be harvested non-destructively. I.e., We're not chopping down trees, we're not doing anything. So you could go into a pine forest, collect all of these chemicals, and then leave the trees relatively unharmed. They'll regenerate the pine sap over time. This is just one of those discoveries that's gonna keep giving more and more.